जय श्री राम प्रोग्रेसिव कोर्ट्स नंबर टू आस्क अ वाइल्ड लेट एस से लाइन स्टोरी ही सेस वंस अपॉन ए टाइम देर वॉज अ मैग्नेट एंड इन इट्स क्लोज नेबरहुड लिव्ड सम स्टील फाइलिंग्स वेल इट शुड बी आयन फाइलिंग्स ओके आयन फाइलिंग्स वन डे टू और थ्री फाइलिंग्स फेल्ट ए सडन डिजायर टू गो एंड विजिट द मैगनेट एंड दे बिगेन टू टॉक ऑफ what a pleasant thing it would be to do <laughs> other filings nearby overheard the conversation and they too became infected with the same desire still others joined them till at last all the filings began to discuss the matter and more and more their vague desire grew into an impulse why not go today said some of them but others were of the opinion that it would be, it would be better to wait until tomorrow meanwhile without their having noticed it they had been involuntarily moving nearer to the magnet which lay there quite still apparently taking no heed of them and so they went on discussing all the time insensibly drawing nearer to their neighbor and the more they talked the more they felt the impulse growing stronger till the more impatient ones declared that they would go that day whatever the rest did some were heard to say that it was their duty to visit the magnet and uh, that they ought to have gone long ago and while they talked and moved always nearer and nearer without realizing they had moved then at last the impatient ones prevailed with one irrest- irresistible impulse the whole body cried out there is no use waiting we will go today we will go now we will go at once and then in one unanimous mass they swept along and in another moment were clinging fast to the magnet on every side then the magnet smiled for the iron filings had no doubt at all uh, the then the magnet smiled f- because the steel filings had no the the iron filings had no doubt at all but they uh, they were paying that visit on their own free will <laughs> what a wonderful analogy metaphor allegory eh, for all the vices to which uh, we keep getting drawn even as groups okay the social drinking and god knows what kind of political party we join and what kind of stupid religions we subscribe to without reading their holy books we get attracted like this iron filings brainless iron filings oh my god what a lovely allegory we are all in the gutter but some of us are looking at the stars oscar wilde ireland unfree shall shall never be at peace okay patrick okay paul blumberg let's see what this fellow says there is hardly a study in the entire literature which fails to demonstrate that satisfaction in work is enhanced or that other generally acknowledged beneficial consequences accrue from a genuine increase in workers decision making power such uh, consistency uh, of findings i admit is rare in social research okay fighting crime by building more jails is like fighting cancer by building more graveyards <laughs> wow paul kelly i think we can repeat this fighting crime by building more jails is like fighting cancer by building more graveyards good one okay at least one page now for the reason when you come down to it always something slightly unsavory about the business of central banking hmm a market economy even the goldilocks economy of america in the 90s requires that a certain number of people who want to work be able be unable to find jobs so that their example will discipline the wage demands of those who are already employed hmm even liberal economists like myself grudgingly accept the conclusion that a responsible fed must sometimes uh, raise interest rates in order to limit the number of jobs and maintain a suitably high rate of unemployment but the scene remains an ugly one when the fed acts to cool off an overheated economy uh, what that literally means is that a group of comfortable men and women in suits are deliberately acting to limit the job prospects of some of their worst of fellow citizens okay uh, next let us see paul robson a socialist society represents an advance to a higher stage of life that is a form of society which is economically socially culturally and ethically superior to a system based upon production for private profit 
Oh my God, these communists. History shows that the processes of social change have nothing in common with silly notions about plots and conspiracies. The development of human society from tribalism to feudalism to capitalism to socialism is brought about by the needs and aspirations of mankind for a better life. See, the fundamental problem with capitalism and communism, both of them think that wealth is is the solution to all problems that is where they are completely mistaken our sanatan dharma teaches us that there are four purusharthas dharma artha kama moksha so just artha just, the problem with communism eh, socialism and all the others you know brand of uh, these thinkers they think just artha is sufficient hinduism teaches you that dharma artha kama moksha all four dharma ethics eh, Dharma is absolutely, once you compromise on ethics, you will develop a, a disturbed personality, disoriented, psychiatric disorders will follow. The whole society becomes a, a psychiatric uh, case, you know. Uh, so, Dharma, Artha, Kama, desires. Desires cannot be extinguished, nor can they be wished away, nor must they be suppressed, uh, uh, nor must they be overindulged in. So, what is a legitimate desire? Uh, you must satisfy that. So uh, that's what Hinduism teaches you within the bounds of dharma. And then moksha, uh, uh, salvation, redemption, freedom from this continuous suffering, a deeper inquiry into meaning of life, teleology, ontology, all these are there in the Bhagavad Gita. There is nothing in any religion which has not already been examined, thrashed and thrown out by Hinduism, <laughs> the Upanishads. Uh, and the summary of the Upanishads is the Bhagavad Gita. So these fools who talk about socialism, these fellows are actually champagne, champagne socialists, limousine, limousine, what do you call? Socialism, limousine communists. So they sit in their palaces, drink uh, champagne and talk rubbish. Karl Marx himself never had any employment, never earned any money. He was mooching on his friend Frederick Engels, whose father was... Uh, a factory owner so all the while he is abusing bourgeois say but actually living off mooching cadging sponging of his friend's father who was a bourgeois who was the petty bourgeois who was the owner of a factory this uh, well marx i think is a rascal this rascal was a drunkard he didn't even ma earn the money to drink uh, like I already told you, and he fathered six children and his wife was working as a, uh, a maid servant uh, to feed her six children and she couldn't pay the rent so she was thrown out of the house and this rascal went on writing crap uh, and he made predictions which uh, all have turned to be untrue. Karl Marx said that uh, capitalism carries the seed of its destruction within itself and the rich will become richer, the poor will become poorer, and there will be a revolution, the poor will overthrow the rich, and then the poor will become corrupt, and they will become very rich, and then the next revolution will take place, so the poor then will overthrow these newly rich, uh, and then the cycle will continue till ultimately a glorious you know, world of utopian socialism and communism will emerge. This rubbish has never happened anywhere, and yes, the truth is, yeah, the rich are becoming richer, the poor are becoming poorer, that much we can accept. But the quality of life of the poor has also increased. Today, the poorest of the poor have a cell phone, they have a vehicle, they have food to eat. Well, so they might be relatively poor. Okay, So, uh, the, uh, all democracies will collapse and communism will sweep the world. 1984, George Orwell wrote a book. Which, which scared everyone, but that never came true. And this communism is a failure. It's a flop show, the biggest flop show. Mao is the biggest mass murderer, 90 million people he killed, his own people. Stalin is another mass murderer, and some fools are naming their children Stalin. This Stalin rascal, 60 million people he killed. Pol Pot and so on and so forth, the list goes on. And many idiots think Czech Guevara is a great man. Czech Guevara is a cold-blooded mass murderer. And anyway, he was a coward. He was portrayed as somebody very great and brave and all that, which is a pack of lies. Okay, I'll stop here because when I see this communist ranting like this, I, have, I find that I have a duty to tell you the truth about these scoundrels, these rascals. Huh? 
nature hates communism <laughs> well that doesn't mean that nature of course machanaya eh? the might is right is the law jungle law uh, but uh, communism is actually so artificial uh, uh, communism basically is based on so many faulty fallacious premises that's why all communist states have collapsed in fact uh, china which pretends and poses to be a communist state is probably the first one to start a special economic zones and it is more capitalistic than any other capitalistic country uh, if they release that stranglehold over the people then there will be total revolution in china they will throw out all these dictators anyway i hope it is high time you also wake up to the fact that these communists are basically crooks and rascals and uh, uh their karl marx is another <laughs> bogus reformer jai shri ram okay i'll add one more so that i can complete this speech uh, paula allen from an activist love story okay well, let's see what she has said okay or is that paula means a girl lady okay being an activist means being aware of what's happening around you as well as being in touch with your feelings about it your rage your sadness your excitement your curiosity your feelings of helplessness and your refusal to surrender being an activist means owning owning your desire well i agree with that thank you very much jai shri ram